Welcome to Anthology. Today we will see compressive stress in strength of materials. Contents: What is compressive stress and strength? How to find compressive strength? Compressive strength of ductile and brittle material. Modes of failures based on L by D ratio in compression test on in ductile materials. Compression test of brittle materials and examples of compressive stress. Compressive stress is induced in a body when two equal and opposite forces push or squeeze the body. Stress, as usual, measured in newton per meter square or pascal. Here, as shown in figure, the cylinder is squeezed by two equal and opposite forces F. In compressive stress, that is sigma is equal to force upon area. A is the area which is perpendicular to the direction of force F. Compressive strain is a change in length upon original length. Here, change in a length is a delta L, that is a reduction in length due to force F, and original length was L. Hence, compressive strain that is epsilon is equal to delta L upon L. Being a ratio of two lengths, strain has no unit. Within an elastic limit, Hooke's law is applicable to compression also. Hence, modulus of elasticity that is the Young's modulus capital E is equal to stress upon strain. How to find the compressive strain? Similar to the tensile strain, compressive strain is also measured on UTM that is a universal testing machine, the component of which Compressive strength is to be measured, is squeezed on a UTM and the stress value at the time of failure of the component is noted. Compression strength of the ductile materials. Maximum ductile materials have their compression strength equal to the tensile strength, hence such materials are called as even materials. For example, the compression strength of the mild steel is 140 to 160 MPa. In ductile materials, the modes of failures in a compression test are dependent on L by D ratio, where L is the length of the specimen and D is the diameter of the specimen. If L by D is greater than 5, then there will be a buckling. If L by D is greater than 2.5, then there will be a shear failure. If L by D is greater than 2.0 and if friction is present at the contact surfaces, then there will be a double barreling. If L by D is lesser than 2.0 and friction is present at the contact surfaces, then there will be a single barreling. If L by D is lesser than 2.0 and if no friction is present at the contact surfaces, then there will be a homogeneous compression up to a coin shape. And if there is a work softening of the materials, then there will be a in instable compression. Compression strength of the brittle materials. Brittle materials break into the pieces under the compression. Many times they break at a 45 degree angle. So compression strength of the brittle material is much higher than that of their tensile strength. Compression strength of some ceramic materials is even 10 times higher than their tensile strength. For example, the cast iron specimen has a tensile strength up to 100 to 200 megapascal, but their compression strength is 400 to 1000 megapascal. Similarly, the concrete specimen has a tensile strength up to 1.4 to 2.8 megapascal, but their compression strength is 35 to 43 megapascal. Compression strength of the brittle material wood. So wood has a different behavior for a compression and tension as across the grains and along the grains. So for a wood, the load carrying capacity which is parallel to the grain flow is much higher than that of the perpendicular to the grain flow. Hence, accordingly, the wood piece is selected for making the wood structures. Examples of compressive stress. So, the legs, that is the bones of legs of animals and human are under the compression. Similarly, columns of buildings and columns of bridge are under compression. The bearings of the bridge are under compression. The vehicles of the wheel are under compression. Similarly, the legs of chair where the grain flow of the wood should be parallel are under compression. Similarly, the forming processes like forging, extrusion are under compression. Thank you for watching the video.